In the previous video, we focused in a lot on what to do with the MSOL token once you've got it. There was a lot of stuff that you could do in the DeFi ecosystem. But do you remember there were a few different avenues that you could go down where you could earn extra tokens, like the Marinade token along the way? What was that Marinade token all about? That token is the governance token for the Marinade Finance ecosystem. And in this short little video, we're going to talk about how you can actually use that Marinade token to do something with it, like voting on proposals or even choosing to allocate a block of Marinade's staking pool to a validator of your choice. Let's go. So I'm back on Marinade.Finance's website, and at this point in our journey, you should be pretty well acclimated to the fact that Marinade Finance is a big decentralizer of the entire Solana ecosystem. You can see right now they are staking across 454 validators, or what equates to $291 million uh, worth of value that's been locked and is now spread across uh, the staking ecosystem. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of soul, and they're a big part to spreading all of this risk. So these guys are the decentralizers, but who is decentralizing the decentralizers? Is this still centralized? The answer is no. Marinade Finance was created in such a way that it is truly a decentralized platform in its own right. This is all deployed in smart contracts. And if the team disappears tomorrow, everything continues to operate the way that it works. But beyond that, people who are interested in taking control, not taking control, that's a terrible way to pin it, but people who want to uh, actually play a part in how this ecosystem, this liquid staking ecosystem and the Marinade Finance Protocol works, they can then use the Marinade token in order to make that happen. Now, I want to walk you through the process just so you can see about how their NFT comes into play. It's actually kind of cool. The way it works is you take your Marinade token and you lock it inside of an NFT. And there is a 30-day lock period. It actually mints an NFT for you on the fly. And it keeps track of how much Marinade is locked inside of your NFT. There is like a one-to-one -one of how much voting power you get. The more Marinade that you lock, the more voting power that you get. So let's take a look at what this really looks like. I'm gonna to go to the application first. I'm in the Marinade Finance ecosystem right now. And what you can do is if you have Marinade, you click on the MNDE tab right here, and this is the process of locking your Marinade in order to mint an NFT. So to tell you what I'm gonna do real quick. I'm just gonna to go to Jupiter and I'm gonna show you how we can get this going. I'm gonna swap some soul over to Marinade. Note that at the time of this recording, the minimum marinade to lock inside the NFT is 1,000 marinade, which is roughly two soul at the time of this recording. So I am going to unlock my ledger real quick so that I can perform this transaction on the fly. I'm going to swap this, approve it. Notice the actual route that it's taking to. It's actually swapping soul to MSOL, then to marinade. Uh, and it's going through Saber first to actually do that uh, like pair stable swap from Sol to MSOL. Then it goes to Orca to swap from MSOL into Marinade. So it takes just a second to complete. Give Phantom a moment to catch up. Give the blockchain a moment to actually finalize the transaction. I'll connect my wallet here. I won't expect to see it immediately. Yeah, so it still shows me zero balance of Marinade. So let's just refresh this page with an F5. Connect the wallet one more time. And now it shows me with the 1,078.4 uh, marinade that can be locked. Now, notice this is actually kind of the thing. It's a little gamification for you. First of all, there were uh, there are a limited edition set of NFTs to mint. There are 1,277 left. These take on, I, I was about to write squid on the page. These take on the form of an octopus. After these are minted out, it will be a completely different diagram, and these won't be the limited editions anymore. Beyond that, you can change the size or shape of your NFT. They get bigger 
as you lock more marinade. Now, the cool thing about this is, is that when I lock marinade into this NFT, I can always come back and lock more marinade into the same NFT. And once it breaks into the next threshold or the next tier, uh, it will automatically upgrade the NFT in my wallet too. So here we go. I'm just going to choose the max that I want to uh, lock right here in the 30-day contract. I click lock. And, you know, I've been saying lock for 30 days. It's actually, you've got an unlock period of 30 days whenever you're ready uh, to actually go through the unlock period. So the transaction is sent and the marinade has been locked and uh, you'll give it a second to refresh. Now notice I've got a couple other NFTs already in my wallet and I can already see those nfts i have the ability to lock more marinade into those nfts right here or if i want to stop the 30-day unlock period i can do that as well so tell you what i'm going to do i'm going to give it an f5 to refresh i'm going to connect my wallet one more time go to phantom and if i scroll down now i see my third nft is here uh, i need to double check the documentation but off the top of my head in order to actually use all of these NFTs to vote and everything like that, you can have a max of 15 NFTs. I could be off on that. It might be like 16 or 14, but 15 is what comes to mind. Uh, so you can have a max of 15 NFTs that you can have uh, basically a, a very large amount of marinade staked in each one of them. And But once you uh, get those 15 NFTs, and you want to get a 16th NFT, you have to use a different wallet to actually use that for voting. So I wanted you to keep that in mind. So now that I've got these NFTs and I've got this marinade, what can I vote on? Well, there's a vote button right here. Give it a click. And it takes you into Tribeca, where you will connect your wallet in. And the first place that I actually want you to go to, if you're following along, if you're doing this, is you go to the locker and it shows you all of the NFTs that you have and the total amount of marinade that you have locked. And effectively, this is what your voting power is. You, as someone who is contributing to the ecosystem, you can choose the lock or unlock button that really just takes you back uh, to the marinade page that you were just on. Or you can create your own proposal about how you actually want this to work. I'll give you an example of one uh, in just a minute. You can go to the proposals tab right here, and these are all currently under the executed status. You see that green executed button here or the green check mark and executed. That means there aren't current votes happening on these. These were all appro uh, approved by marinade holders and then deployed via contract and development. So you can click on these types of proposals and it actually takes you to a long forum link where you can actually read through what was, uh, what was actually debated within this proposal, what was consensus like, and everything like that. Uh, it looks like there were 16,922,142 votes for and 1,000 votes against. So this is kind of how the actual proposals and governance program works. Now, you're thinking to yourself, well, what is a typical thing that could get voted on? This is actually a new deployment right here under the validator gauges. And this is really, really cool uh, that this really even exists in the first place. Effectively, what's happening here is 10% of Marinade's total staking pool of all of the soul that they have in their staking pool has been placed into what they call the validator gauges. So that puts up about 698,248 soul that currently lives within these validator gauges. And what you can do with these validator gauges is... You can now come down, if you have locked your marinade, you can now come down here, click on edit votes, and you can choose to vote for a portion of that 10% of that stake, the 698,000. You can vote for a portion of that to be delegated to a validator of your choice. For instance, I see juicy stake right here. So let's say I wanted to give uh, all of my votes to juicy steak right here. I would type in a 100, but the real kicker here is it's not 100% that I just typed in, even though that's what you see on the screen. This is actually just an, a basically an arbitrary number that you can use to set your weights. What you would want to do is you would want to make sure that whatever votes that you put in here, you make sure that they total to 100. 
So for instance, let's say I wanted 98% of my voting power to go to Juicy Steak, and I wanted to put another 2% on the DGEN Dix Validator node like so. My uh, 98 plus 2 equals 100, and that's how it's going to work. And you can see that it calculates the percentage that gets allocated to those. There are a bunch of other validator nodes that I absolutely love and want to support through this ecosystem. A uh, huge shout out to Cogent Crypto, even though they're at the max cap that Marinade can allocate to them, so I can't really allocate anymore. Uh, ben at Cogent has been an incredible for actually helping me understand the staking ecosystem and learning the economics as well as the technical aspects that come into actually making this work. Of course, Genesis goes shadowy super coder dough. Dow, excuse me, there's the Dix, uh, Dijon Dow ecosystem stake economy. I use this every single day to monitor my own, the health of my own node. So big shout out to them. And of course, if you scroll down, you'll find things like Lane at StakeWiz, but that one is actually in the super minority. So you can't stake more to that. Otherwise, it actually doesn't help the decentralization of the network. I'll get more into how that stuff works at a later time. So this is how it works. I can actually cast my votes for how these this 10% of the total pool actually gets calculated. And when I'm done, I click update weights. So it calculates via the total transactions how I want this to go. And when it comes time to actually deploy these votes, these are all things that you have to sign on chain. So that's what you're seeing here. There's this execute all button right here. That's how it lives. The first thing it does is you take away your current votes that are currently allocated. Then you prepare the voter accounts, basically initializing new voter accounts on the blockchain. Uh, so then you prepare your vote accounts, which is what your actual votes go into, and then you place your actual votes. So again, this is all done based on the Marinade token. That's really the big kicker here. And we're again seeing this gigantic pool that gets allocated to this. The real kicker here is what we as an ecosystem want to do is we want to just grow all liquid staking pools in general, like the Marinade staking pool, the big one. Not this 10%. That 10% will automatically grow, or at least this number right here. The gauge amount will automatically grow as the Marinade pool grows. Let's say, uh, you know, Marinade gets to 10 million soul that gets staked into its liquid staking pool, th then this will actually grow to be 1 million soul because it's 10% of 10 million that gets allocated to the gauge's delegation amount. And the votes that you have placed into effect will automatically grow the amount of soul that gets staked with it. But wait, there's more. There's another way that you can actually see your direct impact on how much soul is actually getting placed into the ecosystem. I actually have it bookmarked here. Uh, because I absolutely love, oh, wrong, wrong link, wrong link, wrong link, wrong bookmark. Hang on. This is something that Ben over at Cogent created, and it's absolutely phenomenal. It is an actual calculator tool that can show you your marinades, uh, your marinade votes direct impact on a given validator. So I know, for instance, my validator here has a 5% validator commission instead of 10. And let's say I am going to take 55,000 marinade and use that to vote using the marinade gauges that we just looked at, the validator gauges. The impact here is that will assign 3,724 soul uh, to my validator via the gauges. Again, that's only 10% of marinade's total pool. The other 90% still belongs to marinade's delegation protocol, so that means marinade could still stake additional amounts on my validator or any other validator uh, for that given amount. So in this case, uh, we see the USD value of Marinade and the USD value of Soul that gets assigned to my validator uh, with this much valid with this much Marinade being used to vote for. So this is a, a really fantastic tool that really does help. So you, if you're really big into the staking ecosystem and you want to actually weigh in on how Marinade delegates some Soul, there is a way to do that. You could even go to, oh, I did say like, well, so what would a typical proposal look like? Well, there is a possibility that somebody could come along and say 10% uh, delegated to uh, via these validator gauges is great and all, but what if we created a proposal to increase or decrease that?
That's that's the idea with proposals, is anybody could come along and make a proposal to change the parameters for how validator gauges work, or come up with an entirely new tool that could be used. So this is where proposals come into play, and, and really, really creative and smart people come up with cool stuff pretty regularly. It seems like a good proposal comes along, uh, you know, about once a month. We've had a couple good proposals in this past month. So this is how the Marinade token and governance over the Marinade protocol works. It's really emphasizing the fact that this is truly decentralized. The holders of the Marinade token dictate the direction that Marinade finance goes in. And uh, holders of the Marinade token have a, a tremendous amount of sway in the amount of soul that can actually get delegated uh, to a validator of their choice. So rather than uh, delegating, you know, 100 soul to a validator of your choice, if you were really wanting to do something like this, you could get MSOL, park it in the DeFi ecosystem, mine some marinade out of it, use the marinade to lock into an NFT, and then use that voting power to delegate even more soul to the validator of your choice. I know it's a bit of a rabbit hole and it's kind of a stretch to get to that way. And, you know, you might be thinking, ah, I'm just going to like delegate uh, to a validator or just park it in, in the liquid staking pool. And that's totally fine if that's what your choice is. But this is an option. And this is part of how the Marinade Finance liquid staking ecosystem works and how the decentralizer is decentralized. Thanks for stopping by, y'all. See you in the next one.